Ma. Revelations chapter 9, verse 1 and 2. And the fifth angel sounded, <coughs> and I saw a great star fall from heaven unto the earth. And to him was given the key of the bottomless pit. And he opened the bottomless pit, and there rose a smoke out of the pit, as the smoke of a great furnace. And the sun and air was darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit. Christ is the answer. Uh, Christ is the head of this book. <coughs> An unseen guest at every meal, a silent listener <coughs> to every conversation. Welcome to Ecarus Me Over Ministries Incorporated. We were founded on John 3.16, John 3.17, and John 3.18. This is God's salvation plan for everyone who believes. People, it's for everyone. For all that thirst to come unto me, he says. Come unto me. Everyone. Come unto me, he says. <laughs> Think about what to say tonight. And I said, Lord, it's your ministry. When I opened up my mouth, let it be words that you give. Think about this eclipse that's coming Monday. People, it's a natural thing that has been going on since the dawn end of time. It is the work of God. What happens in the heavens is the work of God, not the work of us. But what really surprises me is how can man predict when the next one's coming? Remember that one in 217 that come across the nation? Only happens every 50,000 years. But then, they predicted April the 8th, 2024. <coughs> and it won't happen again for 362 years from now, some say. 2045, it's going to happen again. 20 years from now. That's what astounds me, is how they can predict that these are going to happen. Although it is the work of God. How can they predict it? Frankly, I like no help. But this is God's work. God's work. People, none of us has enough power <coughs> to cause that sun to go black. The only one that does is God himself. No human can ever do that. Sometimes people, I think it's best to leave God's work alone. Just accept it. It's God's work and just leave it alone. But there comes in religious frantic people who screams, the end of time is coming. They said it every time an eclipse happens. The end of time is coming. What I read a while ago is one verse. Yeah, well, I don't think it is. But how can they predict the end of time? When none of us know when the end of time will come. We all know him. Very well. Pat Robinson was good for that. Predict the end of time. Then when that date come, the end of time come, he would say, well, I guess enough religious people prayed it away. First of all, we cannot predict the end of time because we don't know. There's not a person on this earth who knows. But, you know, these people don't worry me. What worries me is their father. Some are screaming that this zombie's not going to come out. What can you say about people like that? People, they scare me. 
Because these people could think it's a zombie apocalypse and start shooting, killing innocent people during the time of the eclipse. These are the people that scares me. It's not these religious nutcases. It's the followers that scares me. The only thing I can say to each and every one of you, the eclipse is, more, it is a beautiful sight, but please don't look at it. They got these glasses where you can look at it. Still, I think it's dangerous to even look at it with them glasses. But just say, hey, it's God's work. And thank you, Lord, for a beautiful time. But don't look at it. Turn your back upon it. Don't even look at it. Because too many people has went blind from it. I had a sister-in-law. And I remember the eclipse very well. Back in the early 70s. See another eclipse. And this is not supposed to happen in what? 365 years? <laughs> she told. Now she stared at the sun when it went into the eclipse. And she kept staring at it when it came out of the eclipse. But when she looked down, she saw total darkness. Back in 2017, during that eclipse, there were 250,000 people. Who now has some eyes for trouble? And over half of them now is when blind. Don't look at it. Don't even think about looking at it. But enjoy. You can stay here like this inside, just look around. Look through your window. Yeah, it looks beautiful. Because God's work is beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful time. The eclipse don't scare me. Because that's God's work. It's those people. It is those people I mentioned before that scares me. Have a blessed evening, and I'll see you next Sunday, uh, Friday.